We are headed to the damn mini golf right now. This is your first time here, Rob. Castle Park, where dreams are made of. <laughs> There's a Castle Park back in my hometown. But I've never been to this one. I'm calling it now. I will be winning. Uh, but that's all that I know. I don't know who's going to be in second or third. I can't speculate I that. I heard that like delusional optimism is like the best way to navigate life. So mm. that's, well, good that, that's good that you think that way. After I win, they're going to play the clip that Ryan just said, and then it's going to be funny. We're not friends right now. We're, uh, Bro, we're I competitors. Gotta, I gotta warm up a little. It's cold. That's what I'm saying. Rob literally in the ladies in a t-shirt and it's in LA. So there's a freeze watch I'm for two cold. weeks. I didn't get that notification. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, Bro, why I didn't I get that? Oh man. Strategy. Ooh. Hold up. Oh, here we go. Solid. Nope. See, I'm used to like the real greens. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it home. Wow. All right, no. Just so, getting warmed up. Just getting warmed up. Something about these clubs that aren't very really working. <laughs> wow. You kind of psyched me out for a second. No, I needed that one. I did. I need a couple hole in ones too. So here's what you want to do if you want to get a hole in one. Just watch what I do. It was close. It was close. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. oh! Got an unorthodox style. Oh. Okay, I need to take my time. Here we go. We know who's in last. We know who's not gonna win. Noah only needs six hole in one to be tied with us. But that's hey, anything's possible. This hole could change it all, is all I'm saying. So everybody loves the underdog story. I come here so frequently. Now did we check Ryan's pockets? Does he have one of those remote control oh, balls? Yeah. Imagine that. He's been keeping his left hand in his pocket a lot, so I don't know. Ah, uh, that okay. don't look too good for the rhino. <laughs> Get to the freeway. Right through the crack. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Solid, solid. No way I'm getting two on this. No way he can get two on that. Nope. Shit. Yeah, there's shit. no way. There's no way. Come on. Ooh, Ryan's first four. I'm sweating now. Oh. Ah. If I sink this, it's a whole different game. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Ah, he folded. There's no way you can miss that. Yeah, I don't, I don't miss these. <laughs> hey, better, better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys know I love barns, so this is my favorite hole. Did you ever get to go on a farm when you were in like fifth grade, like a farm trip? No, we only did. Um, you didn't get to milk the La Brea tar pits. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's it called like Hard Bargain Barn <laughs> in Maryland. I've wanted to milk a cow's like udders for my whole life. I never got. I did that at 10 years old. I felt bad for the cow, but I guess it's normal because they have to do that all day. I've never done that. That could be our next video, maybe. I'll do it. You never had the urge to want to do that? No. I definitely want to try though. You know in the cartoons, they do it like this. You're supposed to just squeeze. Yep. Oh, I don't want to do it. Maybe you have a heavy clothes though too. It'll be like, you're supposed to just suck it from the thing. But that's that's what I would do. I thought you're supposed to let it like shoot into your mouth, not suck it. <laughs> suck on it? <laughs> suck it on the cow udder? I don't think who, that's what they who do. Who was the first guy to suck on the cow udder? Like how do they find out like milk is good with Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Yeah, like what the fuck? Stop shot there. Stop no way. Stop playing with me. It's crazy because I have to take a huge shit right now and it's like, we're only on hole, what? What is it, five or something? I don't know what strategy Noah's going for here. What's the jump out every time? You got a bouncy ball? <laughs> <laughs> stop, oh, stop. Oh my God. I can see it back up, brother. Already down two. Great. They have like a, a kid section. This is the whole thing is the kid. Got it. And they're like a mini year golf. Four? All right. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> They're not supposed to bounce out. And after the video, I'm gonna put this on eBay and auction it off. You guys could win the actual scorecard. So how did you get so good at mini golf, huh? I would just bring one girl here a week and just practice. And I would say it was a date, but really I was just trying to step my game up and practice. Wow, that was good. That was good. I'm excited to see Noah's shot though. Get out the way from the yeah, everyone watch out. 
Yo, 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 I don't even know if it's possible to like to get back again. You know about the grip, the golf grip? Oh shit, no, I have no form. You have to do put your pinky like this. Oh shit. Maybe it's not necessary for putting, but like driving, you know, like. Wait, pinky goes what? Oh, okay. So three fingers. Oh, pinky goes under. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. You need the help. I do. I do. Dude. Notice how I'm so like calm and measured with my stuff. It's crazy. And notice how Rob's sort of fidgety and like uncertain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no talking during my swing. Someone said something else. Stop talking. I always ask myself on every hole, like, what would Harriet Tubman do? And just because <laughs> she's gonna go for a hole in one, kind of like this. Well, shit. What do we do now? Went to the next hole already. God dang! Yeah, that's how you hit it. Oh shit! That's the way. That's the way. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yo! Oh fuck! Man, eh, stop playing with me. For Gary V. This one's for Gary V. It's in the V-Box. Secret to my win is the, uh, Kate can't do that. Um, it's the V-Box. Gary V gave these to me. You can't just get these in the store. Like, you have to be personally given to them by Gary V, but whatever. Is there like an all or nothing hole? Like, if you get a hole in one, you just win? No one needs to hit it in in, in less than one shot. No one needs a time machine <laughs> and then to go back and... I'm already sitting down. I've already accepted it. Logically, there's no way to get back. Only I can hit it too from here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. This is where the game turns. Like, oh, Damn. Okay. okay. Wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm competing against myself in this it's entire not over time. Yet. I wasn't competing against people today. People will say like, it's oh, it's me versus me, but technically you are facing other people. They have, on Instagram, everyone's always like, I'm my only competition. It's like, are you really? Like, there's a lot of other people competing. I got four, Ryan. Oh, okay. And that's how you do it. Did I go in? Oh, shit. And that's how you do it. Oh. oh! Now Rob messed up a few. I might have a chance. Hey, I never did my redo. You probably should have used that. <laughs> Wait, did no? Oh, did no use a redo? Yeah, I did. Oh shit! Okay, that has to count for something. See, I made it first try. It's all about how you end it. All right. Ah, oh, time to tally this up. I'll come here more often. I'm gonna bring my own stuff though. My own ball. <laughs> my own putter. Rob's got a cat. What's the guy that carries just a caddy? Or? Yeah, I could just. Wait, can't you do that? Like, you don't gotta pay for this to bring her. You just hop the fence or whatever. Now, should we have like an official, like, score, like, tally upper? You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna take a picture of this and put it on the screen just in case Ryan added this up wrong. <laughs> no, we got 30 digits. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gotta do bowling next, though. And my dad's really good at bowling. He has like the bowling case and shit, and he does that, the move you do where you spin. Damn. We do one activity a week. I'm down. We gotta do bowling next. That'll be fun to go to a real golf course. I'll do it. Damn, yeah, these games that I was a kid. That's why I said I'm like, I don't remember these cool ass games, bro. Back in the day, I would just play in the dirt and like make up a game. <laughs> now they got fucking, you're in the spaceship. Kids don't really do that, like make up games, go outside and play baseball. And this is, this leaf is first base. Like they don't do that no more. Nah, now it's it's Oculus. It's the moment of truth. In last place. Any guesses? Rob. In last place we have, let's not call it last. Let's call it third. Which is technically last because there's three of us. Is Noah with 59 points. Hey. In second place with 49 points. Rob. Hey. After I win, they're going to play the clip that Ryan just said and then it's going to be funny. All right, all right, 49, what'd you get? The winner, the undisputed, three-time champion winner, mini golf expert, yours yeah! truly with 46 points. So we need to do like a championship round because remember last time I won, we, that we, we, we mini golf? I'm trying to think. You don't remember that? No, I think that happened and then you woke up because it was like a dream and shit. Play the clip. And for the winner of the Arizona golf competition, What's what the scorecard? We'll give it away. We'll give it away to one of y'all. Give away. A giveaway every vlog. Mm -hmm. So Rob, I told you about this earlier, how it's the new year. I flew in from DC to LA a few days ago, I think three or 
three or four. How was the flight? A little bumpy for the first two hours, but there was this very beautiful girl that was sitting in my row. I was like staring at her the whole time, like kind of stalking her or whatever, but then she got off, we're at the baggage claim. And I was thinking to myself, like I don't really approach women at all. It's just not something I ever felt. And why is that though? I think it's because number one, I don't want to deal with being rejected. It's a bit nerve wracking. It gets like your anxiety moving and grooving. So I was like, I saw her there and it was her and her cute ass sister and then their mom. So I was like, ah, oh, I'll go up to the one girl. Mom's there. Oh, it's like a hard approach. And I, I'm starting to talk myself out of it. And I was like, no, Ryan, is this really how we're going to start the year with you too scared to go and talk to a junior at USC? Like really, bro? So I grabbed my bag. I kind of walked out of the bag baggage claim area she got hers and i was like oh she's gonna walk right by me perfect she walks by me and i said excuse me quick question she looked at me like i was homeless didn't even say anything didn't even speak and kept walking is that the best approach though maybe that's what it was it scared her at the airport like quick question but what would have been better though that's what i'm know. saying i was like you know what would have been better a different setting i think it's the airport people were trying to get their bags and go and then like spooky spooky guy me was just standing there with my fucking thing you know probably in my perspective i was thinking i looked like just cute and handsome, like little airport fit on. Excuse me, question. To her, she probably looked at me like the fucking hash slinging slasher, creepy fucking. Like, you know, SpongeBob would have like the ugly illustrations, like sometimes, like, I'm like, oh God, who animated that? So that's probably how she saw you. You do it to me, like, you walk by me, I'm gonna do what she did. You're gonna be me, I'm gonna be her. Okay, okay. I'm the girl with the suitcase. I'm you. Hey, quick question. Question for you. Damn, she really did like, that to you? This is the look she gave. She was like this, she was like this. Oh, oh. Like the same That's look bad. you give to like a homeless tweaker. Give me $10. And then you look at him like, and I was like, I might be fucking hideous. You've been getting disrespected recently. Like, come on, bro. Like, it's the rhino. You have tattoos. <laughs> I think that might have scared her off too. When I was in DC, a flight attendant was like, oh my God, I watch the videos all the time, Strawberry Park. And I was like, hell yeah. I took a picture with her and then I'm in the bag, I'm in the TSA line and the guy, is that Rhino? Yeah. And another guy but next to him who didn't even know him. Oh yeah, Love the Serve. And I was like, goaded right now. Has someone ever came up to and not knowing you from Love the Serve, but from Strawberry Park? Yes. That's been happening more frequently. Low key 50, 50. Honestly, like for three days, I couldn't sleep because of that incident. He was trying to look USC on Instagram, trying to find her. <laughs> Curly haired USC brunette girl. <laughs> Hashtag travel, USC. I'm not used to that. I'm used to like, well, I never put myself out there and it's-, it's And that's why, that's see? That's why. Yeah. I think if you did it more often, it wouldn't be a big deal. Mm -hmm. It'd be like, oh, okay. And I, and I had to come to terms with, if I was with her in a different setting, it wouldn't have been like 2024, that. we're going up to people. I'm going up to people. I just never been disrespected like that to my face where someone don't even speak to you. I don't really do the approach. Like I would like look at the person like a little longer or maybe like it's happened one time. We would look at each other and you just feel some sort of connection. Like you almost don't got to say anything. So you just look at it. That, that's the look technique. Not everyone can do that though. So how do I Not look? Is it long. like this? Is it? That seemed pervy. Oh, that, that did seem a little pervy. <laughs> I think it's just gotta be in the moment. Like, if I liked the way someone looks, I'd look at them a little bit longer and I, I kind of want them to see that I'm looking at them. I think that does something. Until I do it and they <laughs> and they call the police on me. Yeah, because that could turn creepy real quick. <laughs> I think I'm giving them like these romantic eyes, but like, I'm not sure that's one of my strong suits. Just wanted to give you that. I'm trying one. to think what I would say to someone. Like, whenever I approach someone, I think I would just bring up something either they're wearing or doing to start a conversation. Like, do you think you should have done something like that? Like, oh, you go to USC, cool. Airport is a tough setting. Cause hey, quick question, it gives them an option to like not answer it or not care, right? But if you say something off rip, like that's a cool luggage you got. Or then she has to respond. If she was standing there still stationary waiting for her bag and I would have went up and said any other type of thing, it might've yeah. given me a better shot as opposed to, hi, question, she's already walking. But if they're stationary, then they have to think of something. Cause that almost sounds like something I gotta get involved in, like question, like I'm, oh, not, trying, no, no, I'm no. not trying to do no- Sorry, PSA. little black boy, I don't have any money for it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean though? That's probably how she thought of it. Women are like cats. When you try to go and pet them, they're like, hey. That's why you gotta put a little catnip on your thing. They gotta loosen up to you, yeah. Or if it would've been on a campus or something a bit more social, house party, something. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was like staring at her at the baggage claim. <laughs> She's seen you the whole flight looking like, yeah, it's the creepy guy. <laughs> she was probably talking to her sister and mom about you the whole time. So the moment you said something, she's like, oh God, no. That's what it was. In other news, <laughs> but I'm gonna start approaching more people. You should. Come on, bro. Like, I've done it before and I've done this. Hi, what's your name? That way it's like, oh, 
my name's this. Yeah. And then I have to fucking think of something off the top of my head then. I'm gonna try. That's my New Year's thing. Lil Nas X. Where do I even start? This vlog might not, it might be out by the time his single is out or music video. I just don't get how you can go from working devil to glam Jesus. Like, that has to be, like, sacrilegious or something. My new single is dedicated to the man who had the greatest comeback of all time. Jesus Christ. J. Christ, is what he said. Is that sacrilegious to say J. Christ? That's crazy. What That's kind of hard, though. J. Crazy. J. Chris. <laughs> Oh shit, amen. A lot of people. L. Oh, law, the Christian's gonna have a frenzy over this one. Look, I ain't religious, but this just don't seem right, my dude. And part of me thinks, why did he do that? I mean, think about his whole, like, career and the things he's done. He wants that shock value. Does he want that, or are other people pulling the strings for him saying, hey, buddy, you signed the contract? I think an artist like him, he always tries to break the internet sort of, like, mentality. So, mm. like, everyone's talking about devil worshiping music. So, I'm gonna do Jesus. Christ track. Mm. I think that's what he's going for. I don't think he believes. I don't think he's a follower of Christ like that, though. Would you do that if you were? That's what I'm saying. You wouldn't. You wouldn't say J. Christ. I ain't never heard no priest say J. Christ. In our Lord J. Christ's name. Amen. On God. I, I was trying to think, is he just a puppet of the industry and he signed his contract away? Wait, he is. And the industry is telling him to do this to some sort of distraction. Like, Old Town Road blows up, he gets signed, and then they're like, hey man, we'll make you the biggest mega star multi-millionaire you just need to follow these directions they don't care about religion or nothing like that how can you go from the devil stuff that he was doing in mm -hmm. his music videos to this like bro when you post something and you post your new comeback single you want positive reception on it he's posting that knowing i'm about to get flamed that has to do something to your morale knowing you're gonna post something that's gonna get flamed. There's no way he wants to do that. Oh, yeah. I, I would love to hear the audience's speculation. Cause I don't even look at it like, a, I'm, a, I'm a triggered Christian and how dare you? You can say whatever you want. I thought you couldn't be gay and Christian. That's a highly debated thing where it's like, super strict Christians are very anti-gay. Or they're like, oh, you could be gay, but it's just a sin. Put yourself on the cross like that. But that's- You can't do that, right? If he was targeting religious people like Catholic or Christian, like what did he really think his response was gonna be? Do so you think people were, he thought people were gonna be like, yes, he the really new up coming there. of Jesus, the new Messiah, <laughs> little Nas X. Who is this targeted towards? Who, that's what I'm saying. It's just a shock thing. Is this him being like, I don't care, I'm just gonna do the craziest thing, and it's all his choice? Or is this uh, the Illuminati? No, nah, someone as big as him, he doesn't make choices like that. He can't. Is this the big thing, like, they're trying to make religion a joke and they're trying to tell the uh, younger people everything's a joke and devil and who cares about jesus is i don't know it's kind of what it seems like i don't really listen to his music anyway he did follow me on instagram for a period of time and then he unfollowed me why do you think he unfollowed you probably because i'm not gay i think you need to try to be gay 2024 did, did he follow me because he thought i was cute no i think you did the little nas x in your class that got 10 million 20 million views that's probably why we were just talking about this i might need to go to a gay bar so that men can flirt with me so that my ego can get boosted just yeah. because it, my ego's in a toilet because of the girl. That would have been the gayest thing. To boost my ego. <laughs> you know what? I need to go to the gay bar and just flirt with some guys just to see. I'm going to go into the gay bar, post it up, straightest outfit possible, maybe something like this, and just be on the wall, just posted, just straight as fuck. And then there's going to be some gay guys that come up to me. Hey, big fella. I'm like, sorry, brother. That way it's like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. That happened to me. Oh. You guys know Jason. He's been on the channel. It was, I think it was his birthday. He was like, let's go to the gay bar. After the dinner, I said, Jason, you're my friend. And I'm all for experiences, like life and culture and shit. So I went, some guy come up to me. Hey. I saw right. No, no, literally he was flirting. I got flirted with, with a guy. So you just shoot him away? I didn't shoot him away. I was nice about it. All I'm saying, I need an ego boost. Because I was in their territory. Mm. I was an outsider. But how good would it feel as a straight man? And then you've got hella dudes trying to talk to you. Did you feel good after that? I did feel good because I thought about it like that. Like, well, I must be cute enough for this guy thinks I'm cute. But does that also make me look gay? Did he thought I was gay. So do I look gay? I also thought that like, damn, do I, am I, do I look gay right now? Like, not that it matters, but I'm like, damn, I, I like, wow, he believed I might've been gay. But it could have been a gay that likes to like flirt with straight guys. That's a thing. James Charles. The James Charles effect. There's probably a cohort of gay men who you would never guess that they're gay. They look as straight as me. Please tell you I look straight on, hopefully they, say, they think I look straight. Yeah, and I think they're attracted to like gay guys that look straight too. That could be a thing. Masculine presenting gay man. That's a thing. You can be, su you can be super gay. That's straight gay. 
Lil Nas, remarkably straight before he went real gay. Like, you would never thought. I mean, no one thought he was gay from Old Town Road. It was like after he announced it, really. So we're going to the gay bar next week. I want some straight shit, though. No, on the straightest shit, yeah. People coming up. Sorry, brother. I'm straight. Sorry. Appreciate I it. I know, I know. <laughs> Appreciate the love, though. Appreciate it. You can follow me, at Rhino. Last thing I wanted to say, new year, I bought a new gecko. They don't stop. Well, because the one that I bought that was here when Pee, Pee was here keeps hiding. First off, I have a black and white speckle one that I still have. So I didn't get rid of that one. I've had that one for like a year and a half, two years. I did buy a new gecko. Do you get tired of the ones you have and you're like, ah, I want a new one? Is mm -hmm. that what it is? Because you know when you get a pair of shoes and you're like, I need a new pair. I'm like that, except with animals. That's the only sort of thing you can say. Like, you can't say that about a dog. Lizard, I think, is the limit. Because lizard, lizards don't have feelings. The lizards don't even know me. It was trying to escape. That's what I'm saying. Like, he don't even like you. I was just reciprocating his energy. He was literally the little gecko. This is a long story, but basically, I thought that my gecko that I had escaped. And I was like, where the... It's not in the cage. I had then found out it went in the back area where there's a cork thing glued to the thing and it went way up in there where I, you can't see it. So he doesn't even fuck with me. So why would I fuck with him? What are you gonna do with him? I don't know. Well, now you have two because then they could be friends. I have two now. I'll give the other one to someone. Would it die if you put it outside? Like into the wild? Or does it need some sort of like it would special food? It would definitely die. They're from an island called New Caledonia, which is off the coast of Australia. And that habitat is very different from LA. They think I'm a tree when they start climbing on me. They don't even know I'm a human. So like, they like, don't even appreciate you feeding them or nothing. And I'd be like- And you spend money on them. I'd be like, eat this shit. And he'd be like, oh. I'm like, bro, you better fucking eat, bro. So what's the new one's name? Stella. Female reptile names. That's what I looked up. And I saw Stella and I said, that's it. No, the other one's name is Remy. And then the other one's name, and then this polka dot one is Armani. I've had a hermit crab before. Yeah, I got it from the mall. It was like a little kiosk. The mall? Yeah, I bugged my mom for it. I said, please, mom, I want the hermit crab. I never had a pet before. I was like, Ronnie had the hamster. So I got two hermit crabs. I named one Kobe and the other one was Michael. <laughs> But I didn't even watch basketball, which is the funniest thing. I just thought those are dope ass names for the little hermit. Oh shit. They don't really do much. Did you put like the 24 on the shell? How dope would that have been? No, that's why I named it that. Cause it, they had like custom painted ones. Like they would paint this, the shells and then they would put them in like an arena and you'd be like, I want that one. So I picked the Kobe one. I had an eight. It was a Jersey shell. It was actually hard. Was it Lakers colors or was it It was just... Lakers colors. Oh. It was a snail Kobe. So I said, That's tough. That's tough. Yeah. So I had to do that. And how long did they live for? You know what? One of them, I saw it come out of its shell and then it would just kind of look like, just oh. like, it looked just like, <laughs> like not it flushed him down the toilet. The other one my uncle ate, actually. Oh. Funny story. Like, I thought he was he was joking. I'll like, oh, bring Hermit Cow, I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> he ate him, bro. We can go to my room. Which I'll just show the gecko. Sure, the lizards don't like how we keep it like 50 degrees in here. Luckily, geckos, crested geckos, they're more affected by heat than cold. Mm. It can get cold in this bitch and, you know, he'll be okay. But look at him. Her. Non binary, actually. This one is, um, it's normally like a tangerine orange colored, but. Here you go. Look, your uncle. Hey, there you go, hop on. Don't let Rob's uncle get a hold of you. So you just like hold it and just look at it for a little and put it back. Yeah, and then what I've been doing recently is if I go to a function, if I go to some party or get together, I'll bring the gecko so that I can be like the center of attention for like 10 minutes. I wonder what that does to the gecko though. Like you probably traumatize them. Go, Don't. The loud ass music. So that's true, but we're just not gonna bring that Tossing them around. We know what I don't do. I don't bring it to places with too loud music. It looks funky without the tail. Like, it looks incomplete, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Like, where's the other half? People are gonna be in the comments because it's the running joke where Ryan gets a new reptile every two minutes. I still have the polka dot and I still have Remy. So I've actually been doing kind of well, but it's just a beautiful animal. And then like a girl comes over. I, it's always like the, hey, wanna touch my gecko? Cause like, I don't know any other icebreakers. See, if you had the gecko at the airport, it would have been a different story. Uh -huh. I'd have been like, quick question. Quick question. <laughs> Excuse me, quick question for you. Yeah, he has a question for you. Wait, that would work. That's why like having a cute ass dog was like a cheat code too. That's why this is great for functions get together is because it does the work for you. If I just come up to someone at a party, hi, it's like, what do you want from me? If this little bastard comes up to you, you're like, <gasps> So, it's like a cheat code. So it's a new year and they're gonna hold me account. I will literally have this gecko forever. How long do they live? 20 years. It's a lot of food <laughs> you gotta buy. Did you know the line is like right there? They're good, they're good. See it? <laughs> you didn't even try. That's what the slaves are for. 
as long as you're within the white. Oh, yeah. Women, bruh. Women. So I got this magic trick. Just inspect this, make sure it's normal. Making sure. Yeah, it's, it's... It feels a little lighter than a regular dice, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Hopefully it still rolls properly. Well, what I want you to do is I want you to shake it up, and I want you to roll it on the ground. Not, not, not. Oh, do it again, do it again. Again? Just okay. don't roll it in front of me. Why didn't want to roll into the cars? It's, it moves! It's white! And on that side. Um, you rolled a three. Because you know, my nigga! Let me see it! <laughs> <laughs> because it's extra light! It's literally extra fucking light! It does seem so, a bit light. Alright, ready? Try this. Ready? I want you to shake it up in your hand, and once it's landed on one, like, I don't even want you to be able to see what it is. It's landed. Five. <laughs> do you have something else in here? Let me, let me make sure. I right, do it one more time. You can't even see what it is. I can't even see what it is. And then once it's landed on one. It is. Um, oh, three. It's a one. Okay. It's literally a one. <laughs> <laughs> Your little magic dice didn't work. I think I know what you did there. I was feeling and I felt it's heavier on one side. It's heavier on one face. It's really not it, but. No, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You I wanna try? I want you to shake it up, it and then once it's landed on one that's like face up, let me know when you have it. Okay. You rolled a one. How are you? Keep your hands. Keep your hands here when you're doing it. Let me know when you have one that you're. Keep your hands open. Um, you landed on one. Let's see. Um, you rolled a six. How are you doing it? Oh, Magic. I you. Can you tell me the truth? City walk. Where are we going? Can you tell me the truth? I'm a magician. I can't reveal it. Tell me the truth. Are you familiar with the Fairly Odd Parent? Yeah. Yeah. Let's roll out of here. <laughs> yeah, when's the last time we went to Universal together? Last time we were here, we got a million views on a random ass 40 minute vlog. Breathing the world's most expensive air, this random ass little flavored smell spot down the street. And so we're hoping the views, you know, kind of come back for this video we're at. And I just realized we're with PP like, in public. Yeah, we haven't stepped out with PP yet. So. We've only been to her place, she's been to our place, and then we went to her music video set once, but we've never hung out with PP outside of a home. How are we feeling? We're feeling good, it's cold, we hungry as They'd be locking me in the basement and they're barely letting me outside today. So hopefully they let me stay outside. I've been kidnapped before actually. Oh, you find out it's, something no, new about I've literally Lily been, every okay, time. I've been almost kidnapped once, but I've been actually kidnapped once also. And what happened with that? Which one? The actual kidnapping. I mean, he held a gun to my back and told me to walk to the car, so I did it. Bitch, mm. <laughs> the fuck? Can I, I propose an idea? This is unrelated. You gotta do like a Fairly Odd Parents song. And then this is like the Cosmo one. You know what's crazy? Thing. Actually, I, I did something similar. I, I like I remade childhood songs into like dirty raps. Like that's a hit. That's yeah, I did something. Do I that. Did, I did a Dora thing one and then... Like you should have done the Lazy Which Town, but you changed the hair. The Lazy Town yeah, was a good I did idea. A Dora one. Crazy Town. Bloody the Town. Crazy. Rob, I'll give you 20 bucks if you run through this. Without getting wet. I bet you you were the type of kid that would, would run through here and get all wet. Like I'll give you 20 bucks if you get run through here without getting wet. Are you are you serious? You do it? I you know, know. Oh shit! I thought like you're gonna slip. No, you're gonna stop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, why did she? Why did you agree to that so fast? Because I'm down. To be honest, I wasn't even thinking about the money. I'm just down for the challenge. So get the timing down first. Wait, get the timing down. Look, you have one. I am gonna time. Let's wait till it goes up and goes down again. That's a long time right there. Damn, I really could have. Oh, you could have made it already. I could have walked. You have 50 there. bucks in your pocket right now. I feel like Who's somebody up there knows that we're about to do some fuck shit. They're and they watching. They're watching. I'm not they, they saw the camera. They turned that shit the fuck off. No, they knew we're about to do some shit. I'm so glad they turned it off. You won't walk in it right now. I will. Because <laughs> I don't oh, want you to run. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, they do. Really you know, literally, we just said that they turned it off because they see we about to do where some fuck shit. They're teasing you right now. <laughs> I feel you could go right now. The moment she steps on, just blast her. I think you can make it. No, I'm it's so about scared. To go I on can't. I can't every even go for <laughs> No, that's what I keep thinking. I feel like with my fucking luck, it is literally. It's gonna follow you I'm as you walk. I'm gonna step there, and it's gonna be like. <laughs> I'll do it with you. Are you serious? Uh, Who said that? Uh, I'll do it. Well, you got the waterproof. I do. I do. I do. To be honest, you're gonna have to take this because this is gonna have to be what I drive myself with if I do get wet. Can you go with me? Can you go with me? If you get hit with the water, I'm gonna let go. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. This is a, a bonding activity. What did I just start? This must be a joke. <laughs> oh, she was ready. You would have made it. <laughs> Where's the damage? It's just all up the side okay, and okay. a little bit of my jacket. <laughs> I told you. She saw the one straight there. You're telling me this is fake. Looks I, really good. I'd be in the tub like. 
Like I want a donut with this flavor. It does smell good in here though. So we were showing them our milkshake bath bomb. It's like a version of a like milkshake bath bomb. Yeah, of I like can. a body wash without knowing. You can throw it in your tub, your loofah. Oh, I love things that feel like this. How long are you supposed to scrub? Can you put it, it on your face or no? No, but I have it for the face. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So this is gonna be your face scrub. It's gonna be it's your face scrub. It's your face scrub. It's your face Sugar, it's gonna be ground pumice stuff. Yeah. It has like a texture. I, I want to keep doing this. Yeah. Like, that's that's like, like, you get rid of your desk? You want to get rid of all your desk in? Yeah. Oh wow. Nobody that's got it. Okay. Too much? No, let's like, put it. Hey, what did he do? No, you were he supposed to use a spatula. Bruh. It's like this whole time here. He didn't even start Bruh. with the bubble bath. Jesus. Oh, Cancel so him. Oh my god. He went straight for the arm, not even. Like, are you on a bed? Like, like that's dumb. Oh shit. My tattoo is a little brighter. Do you want to try it? Like, throwing it on your tattoo? Not again. No, okay, no. It like charges for the experience. And yeah, so you use the lemon bath, you use the strawberry rasp. Uh, that's gonna be 75 total. What? I thought this was just free What's trial. What you think, Felix? You feel? Do I feel different? To be honest, my hands do feel smoother. I don't know if I feel necessary, but they smell way better. It works, but I mean, for 30 bucks, I don't know about that. Imagine you're tired and you wake up. I would slip that, but I would mess up in the morning. Yeah, she convinced me before we walked in. I was like, yeah, you dip them and you get to eat them in the in the bath. They softens it up so you can eat it. She asked her. It's like you're making me hungry. I know, right? A little strawberries, no fat, bro. I literally had half a Chipotle bowl today. I gotta take care of my hands. These are the only hands I got. I just realized. My face. I love you. You start putting stuff on my face again. Do you feel good? No, they feel like good. Time to eat. We say PP's menu for last. Honestly, yeah, crayons, honestly, you're that so hard for this. Why they upgrade the kids menu to a composition? Over? I'm saying, no, this is really neat. Can you draw with the, the nails? Yes, I can. Yeah. It's double sided. Thank it's double sided. Me. Do you see this? It's like There's a cat dog a game. Cat dog Wait. crayon. They're game. double sided. Wait, why they got geography they on make a you kid? learn shit now, bro. <laughs> Remember when it was just tic tac toe? <laughs> and just fill in the bubble line. Wait, why they put a whole map this on there? This is a movie theme. Restaurant. It's a forest gum. I think my straw is defected because it keeps not staying safe in this cup. Damn, that one it like wants to jump out of there. It's like, get me out of here, bro. Surely there's a scientific re I'm just pissed at like I'm drinking it. Oh. 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 It's me when I see a pretty girl. Oh, look, and the whole thing comes out. Is it too much fizz or what is that called? Fucking that is interesting. What's going on? So we're at It's Sugar and I'm looking at their poster. You're telling me these guys are on a Iron Man marathon run and they're trying to pass out gummy worms to the runners as fuel? No, you want it because it's like tempting, you know? Oh, okay. It's like when you're doing sit-ups and they're like dangling like some chocolate. And you wouldn't even eat it for the run, but it probably would motivate you to keep going. Exactly. It's like that's the treat at the end, at the finish line. You get that. Now, do you think this is real water splash or that's photo? And stuff? that's tequila on the rock. And Ryan said he gave up sugar and he literally walked into this store called It's Sugar. Okay, but have you tried the um, freeze-dried stuff? I have. It's actually pretty that's good. That's just good. They got lucky charms. Just charms. You said it's not done? Oh, you said you were done with sugar? Oh, I'm done with sugar. Buying gifts for people. Uh, oh. okay. Anyways, I think I'm gonna get these. Oh, just straight marshmallows? Yes, no ch no, no lucky. I'm drunk, y'all. This candy lunch bag, part of an unbalanced diet. Whoa! And it goes with the outfit. They're huge! And it's strawberry flavor because it's strawberry it's huge. part. Do you think it's lollipops inside? <laughs> They have little worms. Wait, that's hard. Wait, can you take those out? Yeah. Do you think this is lollipop? Or do you think it's a bunch of lollipops inside a big container? It's probably that. Right. Because I had one before that was heavy and it was a big lollipop. That one's too light. There's a bunch. Oh my gosh. Shake it up. Oh, there's a bunch in there. There's a bunch in there. Listen, I already grabbed my option. Oh, they have that in pillow form too. Do you see that? Do you see that? That's in a pillow up there on that shelf. Oh yeah. It's all God. marshmallow. Yeah. What does TY even stand for? Because there's a movie on this side. Something Beanie Babies, right? Those are Beanie Babies. Beanie Boos. Oh, with oh the Beanie, Beanie Boo. Boo. It's a new age Beanie Baby. It definitely was Beanie Baby before. But it used to be all bears. Am I wrong? Before they had more animals? No, they, ha they have a different sort of animals. I have animals. candy. What are these called? Big sodas, Beanie Babies. <laughs> He's adding more the candy ones. Back. No, look, there's cigarettes. <laughs> I used to get these at. at this is the candy at, cigarettes. At cigarettes are good. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Yeah, the candy cigarettes and the bubble gum ones. Mm -hmm. And soda. Y'all got the soap oh, today. Wow. And you got this. I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> Tell us how it's gonna take like a little Do you think those are it's good? Like Thirty bucks. Sour yes, cream apples. You think they got the caramel apple candy pops, lollipops? <gasps> Sugar! That is the store. Oh, you didn't buy anything. I want some stuff. Oh. 
Uh, not for me though, it's for a oh, gift. Okay. A look gift at, for a friend. Look at everything I got, I'm getting Oh shit. I got one of these too. So this is the candy nowadays. Yummy. I got a crazy idea, urine candy. But it's like, why they do the consistency consistency and color the like, same thing? And it's in that medical thing, you know, when you gotta pee for the STDs and shit. Urine and candy. It's the sterile and everything. This is what we're giving the kids now, pee, piss. What's the flavor mm, even on piss it? Though? Candy. What's the flavor on it? Yeah. Piss. You're in piss. Yo, you gotta try that. It's sour. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's candy, but it's a dr drink. Oh, we're getting it. What is that? We'll have to try it. Ah, oh, we have to now. Bring me up. TB got us. Donated to make a wish. Yes. How many times? Five times? No, it's I donated to make a wish. I just evened out my total. It was 103 and I made it 110 because you know I, I like Damn. different kind of numbers. You got seven lollipops? Well I got six lollipops. There's six of us. Wow. You can only get six. Wow. So And six is here. I yes. am. Wow. It's me. I gotta make a wish now, literally. No, for real. Because this is for them kids. What if the make a wish kid wishes to live? Huh? Not but real shit. If you have one wish and the doctor's like, what's your wish? And I'm like, I just want to survive. The doctor's like, any other options? Any other things you want to do? No, just that, please. I just want my health. What do you do as a doctor? That's actually kind of sure crazy. Any rappers, any YouTubers you want to meet? Disney World. We, do, we can do Disney World. No, no, I just want to cure the leukemia. Um, I feel like that should exist. So I feel like if they were, they should write. Because I feel like there's a cure for real. I just feel like people aren't, aren't getting it. Conspiracy. The paper, the paper yeah. says don't wish too high. It just hey, what do you want? Make a wish. No, don't drink too big. I really hope that you know. I mean, I think they know. Like, if their illness is terminal, like I feel like they already have got that. They know that. Yeah, uh, they know. So I feel like they are gonna use their wish wisely. I hope so. Well, it's whatever, cause I donated. So I hope, I hope, however much I donated helps the wish. Well, Rob got the urine candy. Do I you think, think? Okay, wait. Okay. Do you think that the make the wish? What is the money doing? Oh, like what is it used for? Yeah, because like, do you think that the celebrities are like, yes, I will take the time out of my day. You don't have to pay me because I wouldn't ask for money to hang out with the Make a Wish like foundation. Maybe child. they fund the like the trips or something. Okay, because I would be like, yeah, I'm down as fuck. I don't, I, you know, I wouldn't be like, yeah, I need a, I need a thousand million dollars to <laughs> hang out with this. I've been seeing kid. the Rock hang out with a bunch. Of yeah, He's right. Like, I need a million. Right, that's fucked up. That's, that's why up. I'm wondering where the money goes. Like, I'll do it, but what's the price? <laughs> I know he's dying and shit. What happens if too many kids, you're the one that they want to hang out with? You got to pick and choose oh, which ones you hang out with. Are different kids different prices? Right. Like their requests. Like what right? is there? Like do that, brother. <laughs> Depending on how bad it is, you can get the best. You know, you get you get more leverage. Oh. Like I'm on stage five. Mm. Oh, okay. So you get the VIP passes on stage five. Or I'm like priority. <laughs> I got when, the fast pass. When does exactly. the Make a exactly. Wish kick in? Like, do you have to request that? Like, a head or does time? everyone get that? that like, you know, not everyone gets to Make a Wish. That. Like the yeah. second they know you're gonna like, how do you expire get in so many you days, you get to how. Well, yeah, how do you even become a Make-A-Wish kid? Because there's a lot of kids that are dying. Yeah, unfortunately. That's what I'm saying. But they don't get no wishes. Like, we just donated. Who are we donating to what Make-A-Wish? Are we already donating to the rich kids? Like, are only the rich kids getting Make-A-Wish? Yeah, who gets in the program? Because I know there's a lot of kids with a lot of illnesses. Hearing that news for the first time You know a lot of kids? People die No, I was saying. I know a lot of kids are sick. Signing you up for the Make-A-Wish. Wait, what? Signing me up for what? Wait, why would I be signed up? Is it everyone under 18? And the bad news is, you have two weeks to live. Like you have to, that's the crazy part. You have to know you're dying, but then you get this like final wish. So you're kind of happy. Like Dang, it's happens? a hard thing to process. Like what happens when you live? Like what if you get your make a wish and then you live? Like do you have to pay the company back for all the money they just spent that's on crazy. you? That's crazy. I met the rock. If your wait is six <laughs> months. I live. If your wait is six months and then they find out you have like an hour to live, do they move you up to the top of the list? Uh, okay, well you got one hour, so who's going to put Okay, up? okay. Like, oh, like, God, like, yeah. like what a week. One week. Yeah, if you, you got like three up? days left to live. Why aren't there make a wish adults? Like adults oh, don't okay. deserve to meet the rock. Sure, there's a whole <laughs> foundation yeah. of it and I don't know the rules to it. I donated so for what it's worth. I made a wish. Okay, that one is on like block. Imagine if I was a make a wish kid like sick trying to eat a sucker that is for my brand make a wish. Can't even open it. I just trying. Okay, well, right, I gotta tired. Go. I gotta go. We gotta end the night with a piss shot. To end the video, <laughs> no, no, end no. the night piss shot. with a piss shot. Come on. It's Daryl. No. We'll try my piss. Right. Everyone will try my piss. Oh my god. Okay. Ew! This is kind of disturbing. What the fuck is that? <laughs>
Oh. That, is, that is piss. What if the one guy in the right. factory is like, ha ha? Oh, no, but see. Pour me some. Ooh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's not like liquidy, yeah, it's kind of jelloey. Cheers, bitches. You're a weird looking girl. <laughs> she already drank it before. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that bad. Right, we all have to taste it, we all have to do it. It ain't that bad. It's an interesting taste. I don't like that shit at all. I don't no, like it's it. pretty bad. It's, it's pretty bad. I don't like it. It is pretty bad. Terribly flavored. But imagine this being your favorite candy. Like, hey, what's your favorite candy? Urine sample in a cup. <laughs> what? See, it's not <laughs> a piss it's drink. It's, it's a piss drink. It's a piss candy. All the aptitudes. Yeah. What's your favorite candy? Bro, piss what candy. Is that? Urine. It's like realistic. I buy it and I fill it up at home. It's like refillable. All right. That's All right. it. Uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We'll be going out more.